We're at 2936 St. Aubin. This is Packard behind me, right here. Um, Platte Road is up the way. Go down that way to Briarwood. Let's flip this around, take a look. This house is on a tiny little dirt road. It's kind of like a access road. There's parks right down here. Um, shopping all over, green space across the way. There's little houses on this little street. Let's go out here for a hot second. Take a look, Springbrook Street is right there. Other little houses, all of these are small. I'm not sure what they were built for. The house we're going to go into is uh, super tiny. Not sure if it was built as an add on to another house or an actual house. So this is the whole lot. Most of it's out in front. There is uh, almost no backyard, maybe a little bit. We'll take a look at that in a second. I'm working without the gimbal today, so it's a little jumpy. Um, let's see what we've got here. Interesting little path through here. Slight patio here with a ladder. The roof looks in good shape. My confidence in this house is a little bit uh, low, if not a lot low. Um, this is the backyard. You're snug up against this neighbor. Um, there's a street right there. And this backs up to other houses, basically. So these are rain barrels. House next door is right there. Um, let's just take a look at the outside for a second. Back windows look okay. Roof tiles look okay. I don't know what's sitting under those. <clears throat> Siding is okay. It's got some random holes. You know, where is the window casing here? So things like that tell me that the house hasn't been maintained, <clears throat> which makes me concerned. Let's take a look at this. What is this going on here? And this is mold under here. <clears throat> which isn't a concern so much as the fact that the wood is rotting out. I mean, you're gonna have mold in every single house. Keep that in mind. It's just the amount and what kind will make a difference. Um, but you've got a missing header up here. Um, just, you know, this janky shingle mess right here. Um, let's take a look inside. A quick note this is a side window again we've got uh, um, clear stuff going on obviously this this feels like it's rotting out here um, those are drywall screws this plate's been put on um, God knows how and uh, my, uh, my confidence in the quality of this house, the condition of this house, is quite low. I'll show you why. With a little bit of extra inside space. Okay, here's the front door. So they've got it. <clears throat> they've put some nice cosmetic work into this, but I'm worried about what's behind the walls and what we are looking at as far as um, just how the structure is built, you know, for starters. This is... Uh, this is interesting, so um, your kitchen, it's just sort of a long room, right? Your kitchen being the first part of this room. Now, I mean, they've obviously gone to Ikea and picked up some Ikea stuff, like all of this. This is an Ikea island right here, and I believe this is just more Ikea matching stuff, whether or not it's connected. It is not connected to the wall. So we've got probably two cabinets, this one and this one, with my guess is a free-floating. Okay, at least it's not free-floating. They've connected it to something. Um, so all of this was probably done by whomever owns this. Uh, Center Island. I mean, this part looks great. Yeah, it's cute. But what's going on here in the ceiling, right? Um, there's a section of the house here in the middle that's a little slightly different with uh, 
So you can see there's odd connection locations here that don't really match. Just things that I'm noticing that are make me question what's going on. There's a bow in the ceiling here. Um, and this is your whole living space. Unfortunately, your living space is in the back of the house with no real windows. I guess you've got these funky side windows here. This kind of has a feel of a studio. Here it is again from a different angle. Obviously, they've got a bed here, which is odd. This, is, this door goes outside. Here's your whole bathroom. Again, they've put some tile up to make the bathroom feel pretty good. You've got the teeniest, tiniest sink in all the land. Again, another Ikea special. Um, it's back out so you can see it. Tiny little sink. Yeah, functional. Um, toilet, a little bit of storage space. You know, I think if you live small, you could live in that bathroom. It's not bad. It's really not. Um, I think the rest of the house is where I'm more concerned. This is a utility closet which has the uh, fairly newish uh, utility in here. You're Oh, that looks like attic access that's now blocked. Um, electrical panel. There's not much to electrify in here, right? Door to the outside. Let's take a look at these tiny bedrooms that do not have closets. This bedroom, there is no such master. All of these could, both of, both of these, all of them, um, both of these could fit a um, queen-size bed, it feels like. Uh, you wouldn't have a lot of space for anything else. There's a weird little cubby hole back there that might have been like some phone hole or some milk delivery area. Second bedroom is here on the front. Oh, it is smaller than the other one. I have not zoomed out this phone at all. Um, and I'll do another round with that. Just, I just want you to get a feel for this. This is small, this is 690 square feet, I think. Um, as much as this is a cute front window, this is kind of where the living room should be, in the front. But the, the house isn't level, there's just too much going on here. Let me zoom out and take another vid just to give you a full, full overall view of this place. I mean, it's cute. But is it good, well functioning and solid? Mm, I don't know. Here's the full zoom out, just so you can get a full picture of this. Um, I wish there were more windows up there where there just aren't. This is a dark, long place. Those are your two bedrooms. The smaller front bedroom and the slightly larger twin bedroom. I'm, it was going uphill right there. That was interesting. Um, bath. And quick from the other direction. That's the whole place. Again, this camera is going to make it look a little bit bigger than it is. Let's take a look at that front porch. Let's just give it some sort of positive feeling. Because the cute front porch is awesome. The location is fantastic. I think you'd have to be pretty handy to make this house work. Cute little front porch area. Here's your front lawn. Let's zoom back into normal view. Gas station right over there. Cute space.